Yes, thank fucking god, finally. For fuck's sake. This took, what was it, 296 KC? Okay, now we go for pet. See that helmet in the bottom left corner? Yes, your boy is done with the hardcore Iron Man. Not because I died, the dude is still fishing, but I want to get to high end content as you guys remember. So, welcome back to Project Nevermore, episode 13 of my Iron Man series. I'm starting us off with the completion of a Blue Dragon task, and that is 214 tasks completed. I think we got around 220 on this task, which is my goal body weight as well, but that's a different story for my fitness channel. But for now, guys, we're going to be focusing on all the tasks that I did on my road from 81 till. You will see uh, to what level we get to by the end of this episode. The second portion of the episode outside of Slayer is also focused on some skilling and questing. Bone Voyage, guys, is the most AIDS quest I've ever done. I strongly recommend you do it because it unlocks a lot of stuff that you will need later on. More importantly, the Volcanic Ash, which you can use in your compost bins. But we will talk more about that later. When I did the Gargoyle task, I did not get any, any superiors. And honestly, there isn't a superior that I've killed from the Gargoyles. But guys, 133 Dagonauts, me and my boy Matt went to town on the Dagonauts. King, here are the stream highlights of that adventure. What else is new, guys? First kill is gonna be a steel kai shield, as always. All right, let's just go back and you see my fucking drop back again. Back steel kai shield, bro. I guarantee I'm gonna get three kai shields in a row. Like, I'm not even, I like... guarantee I'm gonna get three uncuts in a row right here. Yo, Matt, with all these uncut sapphires that you're getting, bro, I would just bring a chisel with you. Inventory, guys, new meta at DK's free crafting XP. Hello. Yo, I fucking got it. Bro, I got the Berserker ring! Nice. Oh my- Don't fucking nice you man, that's fucking sick! Yes, thank fucking god, finally! For fuck's sake! This took- What was it, 296 KC? Okay, now we go for pet. <laughs> now we go for pet, 15,000 kills. Bro, oh my god, I'm so fucking happy, I finally got this shit. I- Didn't I tell you I was gonna get it on that kill too? I told you I was gonna get it on that kill. You said that you are gonna get it on every kill. <laughs> Bro, your toxicity right now is not appreciated. All right, guys. So we now we're officially done with uh, Rex. We will revisit this guy at a later time. Yep. Perfect. So let's uh, let us teleport now. Where we're we gonna go? Let's go recharge our prayer. We'll continue off the rest of this Dagonoth task at uh, Catacombs. Man, I'm so happy I got that. Holy shit! I'll just solo. All right, guys, so we're done 216 tasks now at uh, Dagonauts. We got the Berserker Ring on this task. I'm going to recharge my prayer, and then we'll go back to Steve and see what he gives us for number 217. That YouTube voice. I got to run the long way, so I'm going to take uh, the Grand uh, Tree thing. All right, so our next task from Steve is going to be 62 elves. No, I don't want the elves. Oh, wait, I can kill the ones. Never mind. Okay, I, can, I know how I can do this. You can kill the ones uh, by Morning's End Part 2. So this elf task is something that's been haunting me for a very long time, but since I completed Morning's End Part 2, or at least completed the quest up until the Dark Beasts were unlocked, it allows me to teleport to them, and if I turn on my prayer, I can literally just AFK the task for the majority of it until you have to basically reset uh, the aggression counter. I thought, I mean, they should make it that they'll attack you non-stop because I don't plan on putting any Mourner gear on when I'm down there, but it's very easy to restart. Um, I think the task that we got, I wasn't watching, but we got Aberrant Spectres next. There was not really any crazy bank made from the Mourners, just to get a lot of green dehyde, and uh, you can alk later, so it might give you, I think 150 kills is about 80k or so, so it's not really a profit task, but it is a very easy task to do, and uh, what I really like about the Aberrant Spectres is because you can have your prayer on the entire time you're fighting them, obviously you can flick them as well, but if you have your prayer on, you will get your prayer potions back in Raynar Weeds, so that does make it really easy, and the higher the herb lore my next item on this account guys is the herb bag that i want to unlock one it's the final item i need in my slayer tab in my uh, big item goal list if you guys remember that from uh, my other episode and as well as obviously you can hold a shit ton of herbs in your inventory which is going to make it a lot quicker and not have to go bank all these herbs obviously you could just stay and complete a whole task until you get a full inventory of rainars but as an ironman you do not want to underestimate the value of rainar weeds morentals teromin and everything else now what i'm doing here 
here is I'm not XP wasting whatsoever. So I did get a shit ton of uh, feathers and broad bolts. I'm not sure why I put them vertically. I always put them horizontally and I click a lot quicker. But basically, it did take me about two. Th it takes me about two thousand feathers. I mean, I can make about two thousand bolts from teleporting to my house, and by the time I get to the mine so here we are we have about 200 feathers left and uh, i did range this wyvern task and this takes a really long time so guys if you're going to do wyverns unless you're afking them and camping them i i completed this task while i was editing the video up until the point that you're watching now obviously because i have no other clips until i completed this task but it is a good task that you want to melee so if your stats are equivalent to mine 75 attack 75 defense 90 plus strength it is i recommend you melee them but we don't have any good items for that yet i can use a leaf bladed battle axe my dragon warhammer no a dragon makes if i want or a zamoraki and hasta which we'll get eventually but we if you guys noticed we did get the fucking dragon plate legs and the dragon plate skirt from last episode so i pretty much have both pairs of legs and the plate skirt is more important because that's uh i believe it's a hard clue and a master clue requirement whereas the plate legs are just a fashion statement so my 220th task which is again my body weight i'm going to teleport to shiloh village this is the quickest way i can get there we will get the more uh the karamja diary done later on but completing the hard task by heading down here this i mean sorry by doing your 10th task and a hundredth task with this with duradel you will end up getting a lot more points than at steve so lucky for me i got a very shitty task of elves again so off we go dude just get smashed already for real okay so that kill is done 220 task and we got 75 points that puts us now at 329 let's go now to steve and get our next task and we got 165 cal fight okay that's an easy task We'll do that later, though. Let's go do a farm run now. Yes, we fucking got it. Thank you, Disturbed. My God. Okay, so find a necklace. Please do not use it for... I hope they don't sell it or some shit. Take a, take a look at this. The necklace takes this, turns it over in his hand, setting it closely. Thanks for helping us. What happened? I learned it? I hope so. <laughs> We're good now, right? Find out. All right, guys, so so the imbue worked. We have the dig site pendant in our inventory now, and we can teleport. No. How does this help me get to Fossil Island? There was no way I could record this live because I would swear every three seconds. But guys, this is the most AIDS quest you will do. I don't think it is that hard, but it's just very annoying because you have to run around to go to the odd old man where you did your uh, bone quest where you had to get the seagull bones and all that stuff. That quest with the odd old man, he gives you a good curse item. And then you also need two bottles of vodka and a marental potion to go to the apothecary to get all the sailors drunk and you unlock Bone Voyage. You go to Fossil Island and here we go, guys. We got our quest scape again. I... I had very good reason to think this was going to be very AIDS to do, but I'm not happy I did it, but I strongly recommend you do it. Now, talking to Junior Navigator, I would strongly make sure you bring your two oak planks, an iron bar, five nails, and a hammer. I didn't want to record it, but the first time I came here, I forgot my five nails, and I was not able to access the bank that is on Fossil Island. There is a bunch of banks here, but this is the first one. I know there's another one closer to the volcanic ash, but I'm not sure if you have to build this one first or build the rest, but long story short, bring five nails, two oak planks, and an iron bar with you and the hammer of course now here we are in fast motion guys we are now mining the ash piles for volcanic ash the ultra compost is just way too good to pass up so while you guys are watching this clip i am currently afk mining about 1k volcanic ash so while you're watching the beauty of me running around here in fast motion i am going to cut this clip now and i will catch you guys again when we have 1k volcanic ash and are turning our ultra compost in catherby to our super compost to ultra compost all right, so it didn't take as long as I actually presumed for it to do, but here we are, guys. We have 1,000 volcanic ash, and all our farming needs now will be met for the next little while. So now I'm going to do my farm run, and once you basically put a compost bin to rot with uh, 15 pineapples or your super compost ingredient of choice, you just add 25 uh, vol uh, volcanic ash to it, and you will get 15 buckets of super compost. I think you save about 5 volcanic ash if you do a full batch as opposed to bucket to bucket. So that is going to be pretty useful down the road. That's why I mined 1K and uh in between slayer tasks i'm literally just gonna get rid of 
whatever herbs I have in my bank and this should be pretty good. So basically what we did here was I cleaned up, I'm, I wanna go through all the rainer weeds that I have always. Morentals is gonna be my second priority and then I'm gonna get rid of all the irrit leaves and everything else that I have. But we also completed our 221st task of calphites, which is very easy. And the next thing we got was 243 blood belt. Guys, this task took me like three days to do because we got three superiors during it. So basically that is gonna give me enough items now for the dark totem pieces. And we, you will see in the next clip after killing these three superiors, I managed to get three entire, uh, two entire totems in my bank. So when you, uh, at the end of this episode, I will be wrapping up this uh, episode 13 with two kills at Scotizo. Hopefully number 13 is the lucky one. I do really want a Scotizo pet, but if we get the purple item thing for the helmet, I'm going to be happy with that too. That's 222 tasks completed. Let us go now to Kandarin, recharge our prayer because we're going to go off to Scotizo. And then I'm also going to head over to Grand Tree and get my next task. This episode I didn't record live because a lot of clips were recorded late at night. And because you guys can tell there's a lot of noise going on. So that's why it's been, uh, I've just been doing it afterwards. But we got 249 Dust Devils, which I will be bursting in the beginning of my next uh, episode. So stay tuned for that. And uh, as always, because I'm fucking trash at the game, I've died at Scotizo so many times that I've lost my helmet of Netiznot as well as my room boots. So after getting those again, here we are walking over to the current portal, which I have in my house. Highly recommend this, guys. And now I'm going to cautiously and patiently wait outside Scotizo's lair until my run energy hits 100. So even with 70 agility, this is going to take me like 35 years. All right, guys, so let's get after this Scotizo kill. I refuse to wait until 100% of run energy, but we're just going to go. I know I'm risking everything I have, and that is exactly why I took off my Berserker ring and changed it for a Warrior ring. So here we are inside. Turn on Protect from Magic, as usual, and run up to this dude and attack him. I'm not sure. I think he's dead, but okay, he just lagged. So he got 20 Grimy Snapdragon and an Ancient Shard for that kill. Okay, so there was a bit of delay there, but that's fine. And okay, so let's just price check that quickly. That's a pretty good, that's pretty good loot. Okay, 154k, not bad. All right, so let's teleport back out. We have another totem to go through and then we'll come back here. I'll be honest, guys. I have no idea why this kill is taking me so long to do. It's like we've been trying to like run around and he keeps like landing the randomest double mage attacks in like in the game. It's like, but he should be dead now, I think. I decided to go a little bit wider with the screen. I find the wider resolution does help me a little bit. So hopefully this should be, we just need a big hit and then we should be good. So I think he has like 15 HP left or 20. And maybe this is the one. No, that's not the kill yet. So he has like 12 HP left. Come on, man, just die, fuck. Almost out of food too. Okay, so there we go, Scotizo is dead, guys. And from that kill there, we ended up getting, please give me pet. Please give me pet, lucky seven. Lucky number seven. Okay, we got raw anglerfish and ancient shard. You know, not too bad. I mean, I can't really complain, but all right. So that is the completion of my Scotizo kills, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're going to start off next episode by going to Camulet, using our Camulet to change to the ancient spellbook. We have enough blood runes from the blood belt. Ooh, 60 raw anglerfish. That's insane. I thought it was seven. Yeah, so basically we're going to go hunt some dust devils and hopefully we get an imbued heart and the road to 82 Slayer will continue then. We're 7.9k XP away. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do like this series, please leave me a like and a comment below talking about what your favorite part of this episode was. This was a bit of a lot of content for me because I did do a lot of variety of new things. And for those of you that have been watching my streams, you know how hard Bone Voyage was to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on getting 825 Slayer as fast as possible so we can get some whips going in this series and then we can continue on with the epic skilling grind so thank you guys so much for watching this episode and i will watch you guys i mean i'm not gonna watch you guys but i will meet up with you next episode so peace out for now boys